So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create a blank figure for decaling. I know there are plenty of other tutorials out there on YouTube, so I'm going to make this quick. So how are you going to remove this print so you have a white torso, you may ask? Well, all you need is some 1000 grit sandpaper and only 1000 grit. You don't want anything less than a thousand grit. This is what's going to happen if you use sandpaper less than a thousand grit. It's gonna leave these giant gashes and dirt is gonna be in there and as you can see it's just a mess. While this is what you get when you use a thousand grit sandpaper. As you can see it's a lot smoother. If you if I look really closely I can still see some of the scratch marks so you you really want a thousand grit or higher so you know maybe 1200 grit or 1400 grit will be better. So you're gonna want a plate and your piece of sandpaper and then you're just gonna pour water onto the plate. The plate is just so no water gets on the counter and so your mom isn't angry. I don't know if you still live with your mom or not. I don't know how old you guys are. But what you're gonna wanna do is take your minifigure and put the arms like this. And then you're just gonna want to rub the minifigure torso just like this in a straight line. And um, you're not gonna want, again, to move it at all. You're just gonna wanna move it up and down in a straight line. And as you can see, some of the um, torso print is coming off there, and you're just going to rub again some more until that torso print is completely off. You don't have to rub very hard. And then as you can see, you'll have a nice white to blank torso. And then you just do the same thing for the back. So next, you need to carve out the hips. So... Um, the hips don't rip off the leg decal. And there's two things you can use to do this. Either a citadel knife or you can use a Dremel, which is kind of intense. But, you know, it works way quicker than um, the citadel knife. And you can also use a electric nail filer. And if you're using the electric nail filer or the Dremel like I do, you're gonna want this um, end. It's kind of like a cone. But if you're using the Dremel or nail filer, it's gonna be pretty simple. You're just gonna have the end, you know, go right here. And obviously it's going to carve out the hip on its own. Just make sure that you carve all the way to this back piece. Otherwise the decal is still gonna rip off right so you just want to carve and make sure that you carve all the way over and you like start hitting this piece right here with this little peg i hope that makes sense probably not though but if you're using the citadel knife you're not going to be using this knife right here this is just your plain exacto knife you're going to be using this knife up on screen but if you're using the citadel knife you're just going to um have the knife and you're gonna place it right there and then go in a semi-circular motion just as I do. This is what the end result should look like. As you can see, this part of the leg is not touching this part. I can move it perfectly fine without it touching at all. So basically you want to carve out a gap like that so the leg is not touching that part the hip part right here. And as you can see, I can move the decal up and down and it will be perfectly fine. As for the helmets, I just bought these awesome cheap knockoff ones off of Jonak Toys. Unfortunately, they are sold out right now, but if you wanted to remove printing from a official LEGO helmet, you would pour Brasso onto this helmet, take like a paper towel, I guess, and then you would rub the helmet until the print came off. But that's a very, um, that can be very annoying, I feel like, and like it's just hard to remove printing from curved surfaces, which is why that you buy just those plain white legs. 
At the end of the day, decaling can be really hard for beginners, and beginners are gonna mess up their first few figs like I have. And yeah, it's okay if you make mistakes, you know. You'll learn over time, and eventually you'll get good enough at decaling that you will be able to make the perfect fig every single time. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. Like and subscribe for more decaling content in the future, and I will see you guys in the next video.